The 1970s saw many hardships in Klamath County and new opportunities to have fun. Construction began on Presbyterian Intercommunity Hospital, providing five new treatment areas, enlarged ambulance dock, x-ray facilities, and an expanded emergency room. A Southern Pacific train derailed soon after passing through Klamath Falls, leaving a massive cleanup in Mackdoll of 21 freight cars. In November, a fire gutted the Warehouser building overnight in Klamath Falls. In a Veterans Memorial Park, an old Southern Pacific locomotive earned its retirement, as old 2579 was placed on permanent display. Consumers Heating Company closed its operations, the old plant being purchased by Modoc Lumber Company to produce heat for drying kilns. In January, the new Klamath YMCA opened, providing a pool, gym, handball courts, game rooms, and more. The first Amtrak train arrived at Klamath Falls to begin regular passenger service. And among the performers to visit Klamath Falls, none drew a bigger crowd than John Denver, who played for over a thousand people in December. The Fable Museum of Western Art, named in honor of Gene Fable, opened with a large Native American ceremony in April. Reconstruction was underway at Main and 7th, following recommendations for a long vacant building to be condemned and made available following remodels for new business. It is now the site of Main Street Jewelers. Pacific Power and Light opened its new offices at 5th and Main. Klamath Falls City Police went on strike under demands for higher pay, which led to an agreement for a 9.9% increase in pay for all city workers. Warehouser invested $12 million to build a new plant in Bly. An explosion rocked the building of Van Sporting Goods one Saturday morning. A century-old cabin was disassembled and relocated from Willow Creek in California to the Klamath County Museum. The cabin, built in the 1870s, was rebuilt outside the museum's entrance. Aladdin's Valley Rental Service opens at the corner of Shasta Way and the Alameda Overpass. The Chiliquin Mill burns, displacing 82 employees. The Klamath County Library expands into a new addition, adding 16,000 feet of space, providing relief to a badly overcrowded library facility. The Air Force Thunderbirds wow crowds, topping 20,000 people during an aerial demonstration. A new Maywood plant opens in Klamath Falls, with Oregon Governor Straub officially dedicating the new facility. Demolition began in what was considered to be the oldest standing building in Klamath County, when an old stone structure on Payne Alley between Pine and Main was torn down. More than 700 district students participate in bicentennial celebrations on the OIT campus and a parade down Main Street. For the first time in two years after low snowpacks, Tomahawk Ski Bowl, west of Klamath Falls, opens again for business. Following protests, PPNL agrees to change the route of a planned 500 kilovolt power line from Idaho to Medford to minimize environmental and wilderness impacts. The old Fort Klamath Stout Jail is moved after being donated to the Klamath County Parks Department. The structure, built in 1905 along Highway 62, is relocated to Fort Klamath Museum Park. Amid military budget cuts, strong consideration is given to closing Kingsley Field. Despite pushback, the base closes. Klamath County Extension Service relocates to a new 9,000-square-foot facility on Vandenberg Road. An ancient sport finds a new life through the growing popularity of chariot racing following formation of the Cal Or Chariot and Cutter Racing Association. A new safety measure comes into effect at the Klamath County Jail when six cameras and TV monitors are installed at the prison.